crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? Today, I've got the Pokemon Tomi Takara Battle Attack Mega Blastoise. This is just like a really large Tomi Takara figure. It has a little bit of articulation, and uh, it shoots out some gimmicky stuff. I've already done a review of the Venusaur, so check that out. I have not found Charizard yet, but I really want to get it because... <clears throat> When I reviewed the Venusaur, I really liked that. And I, I feel like I'm going to like this. Hopefully I really like this as well. But let's open it up and find out. This is kind of a what you see is what you get kind of figure. you got swivels on the arms here. Swivels on the legs. But the legs do come with a little surprise that kind of spooked me a little bit when I did it. You move them forward. Like that. And. Boom. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. It doesn't shoot out all the way. It doesn't, you can't remove it or anything. It's just on a spring and it's stuck in there. So you kind of just lean him forward like he's about to shoot something. Or, well, he is going to shoot something. And then it shoots out. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then he has these other two water blasters here on his arm. Oh, wow. Well, they aren't supposed to just shoot out like that. They're supposed to stay in there. But I think I, I hit the button when I was putting it in. And they kind of came out. Let's see. That one's in there. And then I'm going to shoot it away from the camera. Just push the buttons here on the side. Pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever had a toy when you're a kid, then you should know exactly what this does. Do this one first. Pew. Pew. Pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. Bruh. So that's that. Like I said, you see what you get. We get a few swivels here and there. Uh, you can't move the legs independently. They move together. In order to satisfy the little gimmick there up on his blaster. I don't understand why he has two little, I guess, cutouts right here. I mean, they don't come out or anything, but it's kind of distracting. I'm not sure if that's accurate to his actual design or not, but it just looks kind of weird to me. I don't really like it. I wish they didn't do that. But overall, everything looks really good. The buttons are hidden pretty well. Not a big fan of all the screws. Maybe that's what these are for. Maybe these are hiding screws. I don't know, but I don't like these screws. Some of them are okay. Like these screws are okay. These are okay. I'm not really digging these. These are kind of just it's a little bit too much. I wish they would have done a little bit better to hide those. But overall, it does look okay. And I would recommend it. I think they're about 20 bucks. I could be wrong. I don't know. I got lucky at Toys R Us. They were having a buy one, get one 50% off. Everything there, or not everything, but all the Pokemon figures. And uh, I was really on the fence about actually getting this in the first place. But since they were buy one, get one 50%, I, uh, I definitely capitalized on that. So I got them for really dang cheap. I got this in the Venusaur, so I was not, not, you know, not disappointed. You know, whatever. Anyways, I recommend it. I'm pretty sure you can get this at Big Bad Toy Store as well if you can't find it. Um... It's in the description below. If you can't find it at like Toys R Us or anything, make sure you check out Big Bad Toy Store below. I like shopping there. I get quite a few of my stuff from there. Other than that, thanks for watching. Peace.